Hey everyone, we are back with another edition of Ask the Sheriff. This morning with us, we have Gladwin County Sheriff Michael Shea. It's always good to see you, Sheriff. It's the same here. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for coming in. So, uh, to be here. schools are in session. Today, we're talking about the role of school resource officers. So, we've heard this term before, school resource officer. We know that they're a real officer. So, what can you tell us about kind of their day-to-day? -day? What do they really do? Um, they're an educator, uh, they're a mentor, uh, informal counselor with the kids, mm -hmm. uh, and then last, uh, of the law enforcement. Uh, there's many components, kind of multifaceted, really. Okay, and that reminds me, too, because I had done a story on the school resource officers before, and administrators called them like a triad of roles. Yeah. Because they hold so many. That is very cool. Um, so you worked as a school liaison in the past, and we actually found video of you from our TV5 archives. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this is the early oh. 2000s. Oh, boy. You were working at Beaverton Schools. <laughs> There you are. Wow, wow Sheriff. That My was awesome. My goodness sakes, who is that <laughs> young guy? <laughs> <laughs> and now you've grown to be wiser. And just tell us a little bit of what you learned from your experience and also what you want current SROs to know. Um, what I learned from it, the, the value of the student law enforcement officer relationship is just so vital because uh, when the young people are growing up, when I was on the road uh, doing my road patrol duties prior to that assignment, mm -hmm. I heard parents say to their, their, their very young kids, you've got to wear your seatbelt or that guy over there will get you. Yeah. Uh, and it was quite a message that they sent. So I had the opportunity to repair that uh, outlook that the young person had and say no this guy's not out to get me he's out to help me he's my friend he's a mentor you know he's there for me um, that kind of thing so changing that stereotypical mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was probably one of the best things that that came of that that rapport relationship with the kids yeah and you would say that's really important for not only their school and education, but you kind of learn something too as an SRO, right? Yeah, you sure do. You gain an appreciation for what goes on inside the, the school building. It's really a, a city with inside of a city. Uh, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of working parts to it from helping out the staff to helping the kids to the administration and then uh, security plans. Mm -hmm. There's so much to it. And um, just can you describe also the um, relationship between SROs and say you know an incident does happen and how that works with the department um, the school resource officers know the uh, the people the the staff the, the the administration and know the roles that they play on a day-to-day -day basis so when law enforcement come down comes down to do the uh, the dry run throughs mm -hmm. or the training within that building it's great to have that uh, that mediator moderator in there the school resource to know that you know who's doing what and who you can count on in that building and what locations and they relay that to police like here's who you're likely to see if you come in wing a yeah uh, and those are the very very important roles especially as we come to those unknown situations from a law enforcement per perspective yeah absolutely what does the SRO situation look like in Gladwin County it's great we've got uh, two in Beaverton uh, that, that do a great job uh, and two of the different schools and then Kyle's up in Gladwin uh, Gladwin High School doing a great job up there. Uh, very well received by the community and, and the staff. Very cool. All right. So uh, we want to ask a little more fun question, a little more lighthearted. Since we're talking about school and back to school, we've done pretty much all month long. So tell us as a, as a student, what was your favorite subject? Well, I seem to specialize in recess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, no, actually, uh, in all seriousness, math. I, re I really enjoyed math. That was my favorite time of the day. Yay. Yeah. You so. still enjoy math? Yeah, I do. Okay. We use a, a fair amount of it, especially as it relates to budgeting and my role as the sheriff. Right. So it's good. Very I enjoy cool. it. Well, thank you. Anything else that you want our viewers to know? Um, no, it's uh, it's uh, it's great to have the kids back in session. Uh, I like to see the smiling faces and the kids crossing the yeah. the road in the morning and and everybody out doing their thing. It's it's good to get back in the saddle. And I think uh, uh, our Beaverton, uh, I think they take on Claire tonight, and yeah. the Flying G's, I think, uh, are over in Shepherd. So Very cool. Got a lot going on this time of the year. That's right. All right. Sheriff Shea, thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. A absolutely. And it is your turn as well. If you have a question that you want to ask any of our sheriffs, make sure you send it to us at WNEM at WNEM.com or send to us on social media.